Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see a new locator strategy that the WebDriver IO recently introduced and then this is mostly applicable in the 7.24. So if you are using 7.24 uh, less than the 7.24 then you have to upgrade your libraries or the npm package dependencies to use this particular feature okay so i looked into this blog so which is like written by the christian broman and then uh, here actually he kind of extensively explained about the usage of that i just uh, read this one and then i'm taking couple of examples to kind of you show you the practical usage of this particular accessibility selector now let's talk about what is accessibility selector like initially when i was uh, doing the accessibility testing couple of months back i had the same question why it is important to do the accessibility testing in your web application and then that actually helped me to understand this selector very quickly so i will be giving the same experience here so that you can understand as well now if you see the w3.org uh, the introduction to the web accessibility it clearly explains about what it is but i will just give you a brief about that so this is basically it is uh, it is kind of a concept that uh, that the w3 is kind of uh, created a standard to all the web application and also into the mobile al application in fact it is applicable for all the devices uh, any kind of machines that you are using including your internet or your application software applications especially now this is basically to help the people with a disability and it is a specially designed concept actually for the disability so like think about something like a person is very much uh, what do you call very much uh, weak in uh, identifying the uh, low shades of the colors so for that actually we can give some a good color combination or let's say that a person with the disability they are using some kind of voice command so they need to understand what is the uh, application usage L let's say that uh, or else some people those who don't really want to click maybe there is some problem with their hand or something but then they want to have a voice command let's say that they will say that uh, add to cart now if your application is not able to have the same kind of concept add to cart as a text probably that voice command cannot able to click something or let's say that some people want to fill a form registration form by giving some voice command there so like this or if you see nowadays in every like uh, short videos you will be getting the uh, what do you call the subtitle so that is again another kind of uh, accessibility and all these concepts if you read this just spend couple of minutes and then you should be able to understand the accessibility and you can even watch this short video which really, really explains a nice way of what is accessibility so this is a quick introduction to this accessibility now let's talk about the accessibility in your uh, web applications okay so mostly any uh, what do you call the application web applications they should have the accessibility that's how the w3 is really giving the standard actually to them so like this i'll go to a source demo application you might have uh, known about this application now let me just quickly go into this username and then inspect it now if you see that like i know this right how to identify this you just need to go to the id or name and you can uniquely identify that but let me show you the accessibility for this as well okay so for this what you need to do you need to go to this right side panel and you click on this accessibility okay and if i expand this a bit and then when you hover any kind of element you and you have to check this checkbox enable full page accessibility tree and this will give you all the accessibility attached to this particular input tag actually here now if you see here the placeholder is username normally i've seen that the placeholders are very much like what you call the accessibility or there could be somewhere you might have seen area so a r i a so i will just give you so here they have given couple of examples think about you have one what do you call web element and where it is written the area hyphen labeled by 
so this is one of your what you call accessibility the same thing you can see something called as area level okay the same thing you can see uh, let's see what else is there so placeholders are basically i have seen that the alt text like if you mouse over into any kind of web element and then it or any kind of field or any information icon and it gives kind of a tool tip so that is another accessibility because that is also helping the people to understand what that particular element is there so these are kind of couple of examples that you can see from the web element and you can understand that that is the accessibility okay now uh, like here if you see that for this input tag the level by level there is nothing entered from the developer actually there is a area placeholder that is also not there title is also one kind of uh, what do you call your uh, accessibility locator the same thing placeholder is one of the locator and you can see that it is username the same thing if i go to the password you see that uh, there is a placeholder and i believe there is a password and that is under this accessibility tree okay now we understood that okay like uh, i'm saying that instead of your id class name or name i can use the accessibility sometimes people might use their own concepts like data hyphen test some people might put it as data hyphen id and that each and every element that your developer have to add explicitly this kind of uh, what do you call the attributes and sometimes we have seen that uh, most of the developers tend to forget or maybe they don't keep it as a definition of done for their particular uh, user story whatever they are implementing now you have to call you have to talk to them and then re-add it that shouldn't be a problem but then webdriver io came up with a concept why not use the existing where the accessibility become a mandatory for each of the fields that's how your application is kind of uh, making a brand actually so that's where they thought that okay instead of using any other attributes we can even use the uh, what do you call the accessibility and this is i mean wherever you have id name data test any kind of unique locator for sure you can use it but if it is not there then also you can use this accessibility so that is a kind of an added advantage that webdriver io is providing now the next question is that how to really identify these locators okay so for this actually we will be using the same application and let me get into the code and this is my template that i have already created now let's go and uh, run launch this url okay and after this i need to do await and then dollar and inside this i need to put the accessibility so think about the username don't have any kind of uh, id or name or anything but then there is accessibility you can see that username so i'll just copy paste it and there is a concept that the webdriver io is providing and that is the area and then slash and you just give that accessibility name what you found from the inspect element and you just say set value okay the same thing now let me try to identify for the password as well now for the password if you go to here this is my password field right you can see that and for password the accessibility name is a password okay sorry here i need to give okay now the next thing is that i need to click on this button so let's inspect it and you can see they have given a login actually okay and now i'll just give some browser dot pause actually so that you can see it logged in properly fine now let me run this particular test case and i have already added this particular ts file into the wdio conf so i should be good to go so i will just say npm run wdio and let's see if it executes your test case or not and you can see that it entered the username and password and for some reason actually the login button is not clicking let's see that yeah you can see that it is not clicking and let's see why 
uh, for some reason the login is not taking into the consideration no need to worry about that like as i told wherever like it is not present you can directly take the id itself so i'll just consider like this okay and then run this test yep as you can see that it executed properly and it passed okay so like this you can do it now let's see another example so i was looking into the google.com so like if you come to this url you have actually this text box right now if i inspect it you see that like there is a name and then there is id and lot of different things are there but most of the scenarios that we have seen that like uh, this id and name is not really working fine now let's see that if we have any accessibility for this and for this i will again go to the accessibility tab enable the accessibility and you can see that there is something called as a search actually now here if you see that the area level is a search actually either you can use an css selector or xpath or directly we can use the accessibility selector now let's see if that works fine or not so i will be copy pasting the same test again and i will just disable it now the next thing is that i need to identify this google search actually here now there is a value area level and all these things are there i am taking the area level or the accessibility that is displaying here and then now let's go to this and then just make it as click okay and let's remove this okay so now let's run the same test and you can see that it searched and also it entered and got the result as well so like this you can use it and just mark one thing actually not all of your applications or not all of your fields will have the accessibility id and you should not be adding any one of these things by talking to your developer unnecessarily because this is kind of a different concept right the accessibility and there normally there would be like different team who will be deciding that uh, what elements really will have the accessibility locators or the data they have so wherever you don't find a proper locator that in that case you can use even the same thing the blog is also suggesting us like uh, you don't really need to go every place and then you can see that it's a very good statement they made here accessibility is not only a powerful tool to create the inclusive web it can also help you to stable and readable test so this is for sure like as we uh, discussed and also the w3 standard is also that but while you should not go ahead and then give every element an area level so just to use this particular locator strategy don't just talk to your developer and then add by saying that okay because i want to do the automation you have to add every element to this actually this is only like wherever the accessibility is in mind or where your application is mostly dealing with the end customers probably that's where they will be using this accessibility i think admin related applications or something internal employees probably this might not be an important stuff so you have to use you wisely but then i i definitely say that it's a very good feature that the web driver io has uh, added so just one thing i need to mention which i would have mentioned at the beginning that if you see the package.json i have already updated all of my wdio package to 7.24 actually here okay now for an instance let's say that you are on 7.x or something below to the 7.24 now in that case you need to understand which and all like uh, npm packages i need to convert to the latest actually even the same question i had so what i did i simply went to the uh, project folder and there is a npm command you just put outdated npm outdated so it's a command which will give you if all of your what do you call npm packages are 
in uh, current version or there is any new version that is available in your in the market actually so as you can see that uh, like because i have updated this wdio packages to 7.24 it is not displaying but if you are on 7. Uh, let's say 20 or 19 or some other versions then you will be seeing those options here now in this case for an instance the node fetch uh, like intentionally i have kept it as 2.6 because 3 is something which is not supporting the web driver io so I kept node fetch uh, as a lower version or the second version of that uh, version 2. Now you can see that it is giving that the latest version is 3.2. So if you want to install that, uh, there is an option available for that. The same thing if you see that uh, TypeScript current version is 4.8.2, but I can, I can install the latest. Now by looking into this, now the next thing is that you can just say npm install and then hyphen save dev and then you will be using uh, or you will be writing the name actually here you can just specify in fact what you can do if you want to install the latest right you can install one by i mean everything all together like for an instance you can do like this oops sorry not there like here npm install hyphen save dev and then you will say that um, here at the rate wdio slash cli and then space again you can give another package like this continuously by giving spaces you can install multiple npm packages at once so that is the way you can do there are a lot of other what do you call uh, features are also available or different ways where you can come to know like what versions are really critical what versions are not really critical to install you can search it or i can provide couple of links that you can use it okay so that's pretty much it about this accessibility selector hope this session is helpful stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel we will be seeing like this some more interesting topics in future thank you for watching